G'day and welcome to another video with Better Picks. Hope this finds you all well. Today we're going to have a look at the process of removing objects without AI. So this is using a tool called Clone Stamp and the shortcut is S if you're like me and you like uh, shortcuts. Now I'm just hovering it over it over on the left hand side at the moment and you can see it is the Clone Stamp tool. And uh, basically what it does is it allows you to remove objects by sampling pixels from other areas in the image. Uh, it's a fantastic tool and it was certainly the tool of choice that I used pre-AI and for many, many uh, options, I, it's the tool that I still use. As you would have seen in previous videos, I've linked them below if you haven't watched them. Uh, the AI tools are great, they're fast, but they're not necessarily giving you the results with the same clarity and uh, resolution that you get from straight out of the camera. So I just wanted to use this image today to show a couple of samples of... Um, removing objects without the use of AI. Now, I'll be the first to admit it definitely takes more time, but the results are without doubt far superior to anything that you'll see when using AI. All right, so we've got a few people on the beach here, and what I'm gonna do is just zoom right in on them. And you can see I have the tool already selected. And what we need to do is hold down our Alt key, and you can see that the cursor changes and basically, when you hold down your Alt key and you click, that is the area that you are selecting pixels from. So if we then go up to, oh, now I have this as a smart object, so and we need to um, rasterize the uh, the image before we're able to do this. So just hit OK. So once again, if we just select a bit of sand there, I'm going to come in, and you can see as I'm painting, there's a little crosshairs or a horizontal and a vertical line that shows us where we're sampling pixels from. So that's really handy to know that uh, the spot that we're sampling those pixels is from a spot that we want to sample them from. Now it also means that as you go you need to kind of re-select pixels that are going to work within uh, the area that you're uh, removing. So obviously you know, if I'm removing these people on the beach, I'm not going to sample from up here in the building because that's what we're going to see. All right, so I'll just go back one or two steps. There we go. As we continue to work, I quite often we'll get in at a pixel level sort of, of editing and I'll choose the best option in terms of areas to sample. Um, but you can see very quickly that because we're sampling other pixels from within the image, the quality of what we're getting is really, really good. And you get that clarity that we just don't seem to be getting within, um, within, within any of the AI tools at the moment. Now, immediately you can see that this is way more work than uh, if we use any of the AI tools but the quality of the results is just so much better. You'll also see that uh, sometimes you'll see repeated sections of the image that look a little bit obvious. I'm just going to take care of this shadow as well. Uh, so you just need to sometimes select from a few different areas to make sure you get a believable uh, result. All right, so that person and their shadow, we can now confidently say, has been removed from the image. It is absolutely, even when looking very close, absolutely believable. Now I might come in here and just remove or adjust some of these, but even zoomed in, you don't get results like this with AI. I have no doubt that in the future AI will absolutely be able to remove objects and replace with pixels that are of a similar quality, clarity and resolution. We'll get there eventually. Remember that we're relatively new within the AI space, even though uh, there are incredible strides and advances in the technology being made. But for now, there's certainly some instances or some examples or situations where using something like the clone stamp tool is definitely uh, a better way to go in terms of the results that are achieved, even though uh, it does definitely take longer. Sometimes though, quality work just takes longer. All right, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for stopping by. And as always, any questions are welcome in the comments below. 
We look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.